wish I am no longer a freak for you to demise I look to the end, I see the beginning We shouldn't be killing or even winning Rolls to fall down, they're falling down all around Coming to get down, go to a new town Come to solve, the world will evolve The longs you're told when you're rolling your gun If I can know how, i tell you to go now Don't you say when you want me to stay then Sticks and stones will break my bones Blame and deceit will stick in my throat Wounds we have, cause the shadow that's black The habits have relaxed and that is a fact Temptation, deliverance, leading to fear One more reason for people to cheer For corruption and hate Sit back and relax It's your turn to wait Nothing can stop the revolving door Wasting your time on one more high score Look at your past If you have a blast Follow the path It's a difficult task Decisions are made But the future is paid Think of the agony That could have been saved Go with your feelings Whether you're dreaming No point in sitting Staring at the ceiling If a job's worth doing It's worth doing well Think of the stories Your children will tell And all being well Your theory will sell Don't live a life That's ruled by a bell Ignorance is bliss For an easy time Making your life A little sublime Another song, rushing the hype, another delight Getting it right, the kid is alright He might be scrubby, but his brain is intact He's true the most, and that is a fact Overload, none and just feel junk Ignoring the system, must make him a punk Envy is a disgusting word Hello, I believe we might be live just nod if you can hear me, as they say. Right, we've got a new uh, microphone cable, guys, so I'm hoping you can hear me and I don't sound like a Megatron or a Barry White, really deep sounding voice. So hopefully it's not distorted. If you could just someone in chat who's responsible, just say, yes, Mike, it all sounds really good. I'd be very grateful to you. It sounds all right, does it? We're not getting that Megatron sound like we have done the past two weeks. Right, that is uh, awesome then. So how are you all doing then, guys? Seven o'clock on a Saturday night, 26th of September 2020. What an awesome year it's been so far. <laughs> not. Uh, right, so we've got a few people in here at the moment. Uh, I will uh, read out some of your n names in a minute. But first of all, I'll just tell you what I'm uh, drinking on. We've got um, a little bit of my, um, what is it, the Gordon's Pink Gin and Tonic with some frozen mixed fruit in there. What we're vaping on, we've got the uh, Vaporesso Bar Pod here. We also have the, uh, let's just put it on there a minute so I can see what I'm doing. Just pop out chat. Oh, I love being organised. Put that over there. Right, so yeah, we've got the Vaporesso Bar Pod device here, which is very good. Been getting on with it a lot. We've also got the Bulk RTA with the Evdillo mod by UL there, and we've got some Kerno Black in this uh, Jobby, in this one we've got some salts, uh, wild berry nick salts in there. We've also got the Stratum uh, clone. Uh, yes, it's a clone, and I've got it on the channel uh, with the uh, as what's it called? Aston Vape, which is an authentic on top. But this little bad boy here, the Stratum, you can get from naturevape.co.uk because that's where I purchased it from. So that's that, and we've got some uh, Just Jam Summer Black Current in uh, that little bad boy. We've also got the Overkill Mods Dual 21 700 uh, Series device with the Asgard 30mm RDA with the Series Deck, which uh, I've just got in 
uh, for review that one and we've also got um, we got some juice here which we are going to be doing a little uh, we're going to talk about it later I don't do juice reviews I'll tell you what I think about it though a little bit later on and this is by um, the King Strawberry Jam and uh, the company is called Vape Maven and I've been Speaking with the chap at Mate, Fate Mame, and I can't fucking remember his name now because I'm bloody useless, but I have been speaking with him for the past two weeks. Forgive me, I've been speaking with a few, few different people. I can't bloody remember his name. Ibs, that's his name. Ibrahim. Uh, right, so that is that. So that's what we've got in. Uh, we've also got a bit of Just Jammy here. That's in the uh, Vapors Cloud one. Uh, yeah, and that's about it for, for me. So... As per normal, uh, we have a little introduction. I usually fuck up the microphone and we have to fix that for five or ten minutes. And then we get on with the review. Uh, a little bit later on, we will be uh, uh, talking about what I've got coming up. I've got a lot of things coming up and in the pipeline and stuff as well. So we'll have a good chat about that. And I also want to mention... Uh, 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 basically a tribute to Mark TVP, who's uh, obviously hung up his microphone and uh, uh, camera uh, last night. So we will be talking about that a little bit later on after we've done the review. So, um, yeah, anyway, big love to everyone who is in uh, here tonight. Everyone who's uh, talking in chat, you are all awesome. And everyone who's just watching Ghosting, hello to you all and I hope you're all doing very well. I've just stuffed myself with uh, Savloy and chips and some curry sauce. So I'm absolutely stuffed, so uh, you'll have to excuse me. Right, let's have a, have a look, uh, look through chat then. Right, there's a few chatters in here tonight. So we've got Simon62. Hey up, Mike. Bad result for you today. Yeah, it was a bad result. We won't mention that, mate. Swings and roundabouts, like you say, though. We've got Hooks on Funk, uh, a.k.a. Mr. Aegis Skins. We'll be talking about those a little bit later on. Nice to see you hooked. Crystal, my resident spanner. How are you doing, buddy? Adrian Mason, Becca Lumps. How are you doing? Phil Jones, Roy's Reviewed. Ship Music, laugh out loud. I'll, I'll have you know, that's the band I used to be in, you bastard, called Juice. Uh, I played the bass, if anyone was interested. Uh, it's better than your fucking Ponzi flute music, anyway. Right, Dion78, what's up? Uh, we've got Rufus Kane, Howdy Doody. And uh, any new chatters? We've got Helen Knight, how are you doing? Bogeyman, 1956. Um, Andy Harris, I might have done that already. Jason Lee, evening buddy. Rob Gain. Uh, Drew Powell. And I think we're starting to repeat them now. And Peter Kendall, how you doing, buddy? Right, so is that it? No, I haven't gone down far enough. There's a few more in there. Excuse me, guys. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, David Duke, how are you doing? Uh, my absolute brother. Nice to see you, buddy. Spencer New, what's up, me old fruit? Uh, Ricky, hello, mate. Russ Knight, hi. And Fiona Clark, big love to you. And Ian, if he is in the background playing on his... Uh, uh, PlayStation or whatever he does on a Saturday night. He is a span of David Duke said. Right, I'm going to have a quick vape because I've done enough chatting already. Anyone who hasn't seen it, this the series uh, Box Mod by Overkill Mods. The review is on the channel if you want to check it out because it's only had about 300 views. And uh, yeah, so it'd be good if you could check it out. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's very well put together, this uh, particular bad boy. So do check it out on the channel. It's only banter, mate. Uh, God rest in peace. <laughs> anyway. So have another couple of toots. Let's have a bit of the old bulk. Been enjoying this one. This one's been sent in by Health Cabin. So I will be reviewing that in the next two or three weeks, which is awesome. Right, is, how is everyone doing then? If you like, you can put what you're vaping on in chat. I might not be able to read them all out, but you can if you like. Uh, 
What's up, Johnny? Nice to see you, bud. Right, so that is it then. Let's um, get on with this review in a minute. So what we're going to do is, uh, basically, as per the past uh, two or three shows, um, we have... uh, I basically recorded the unboxing and the rebuild in one take without the sound on on my uh, uh, EOS 50 mirrorless uh, uh, Canon camera, which is uh, much better than the the, uh, webcam I'm using here. And what I do is we put it into OBS and hopefully it plays it. Now, if you experience buffering, sometimes the video might look like I'm fast forwarding it. I'm definitely not. It's all done in one take, uh, but it's not too long. You know, we might be sitting there for 10, 10 minutes on each uh, particular video, but I will be narrating over the top. Obviously, when I'm doing that, I'm not going to be able to keep up with chat, so do bear with me, because at the end of the review, as always, I do have a questions and answers, and I am going to be talking about what's coming up, because we've got a few bits in, which I don't think other people are going to be having in, so that is um, awesome. So a little bit of interest um, in what I've got uh, coming up for review, which is good. Right, so let's just read out a couple then. Uh, Fiona sorting his iPod tunes tonight 80 gig worth I'll get peace for the rest of the night no something haven't used the bolt for ages ages used to really like it yeah I never got it I tried to get it at Expo about two years ago but they wouldn't give me one so um, yeah I didn't ever get it so thankfully Health Cabin uh, the Angels gave me one instead and I will be doing a live review for it and I'll be giving them some free promotion so that's what you get if you had have given it to me, Ume. I might have, um, you know, given you some free promotion. But as it is, I'll let Health Cabin get uh, the reward instead. Tuki, your bulby door, feck off. Uh, Kevin Smith, how you doing, bud? Dion, watching the Form 1 qualifier while watching you. I watched that live earlier on. Pretty exciting, actually, especially uh, Q2. Right, anyway, so that is it. So that's what we're going to do. So please forgive me if uh, I uh, um, uh, ignore you. So let's have a couple of puffs and we'll go down low. Incidentally, I just want to say uh, thank you for everyone that is watching. We've got 37 in the house, so it just shows you if you go on in the evening, you do get a bit more interest. So big love to all of you that are watching at the moment, and if you are on replay, big love too. Right, so let's get into it then. Right, here's the... I've got to start concentrating now because I literally have to remember what I did yesterday and talk over the top. Rufus is watching Pink Floyd Live in Pompeii on Sky Arts in the background. Love a bit of Pink Floyd, mate. Right, so here we go then. Let's hope it works. Right, here's the box then. So it's the Cali V2 uh, Master Kit we've got here. And I've got the uh, the black and stainless steel version. You can get one in uh, brass and copper as well. Not sure whose signature that is. I've been trying to find that everywhere, but I don't know. Right, there's all your contents and, and all of that malarkey on the back if you do want to pause it. Thumb cutouts to help you open the box, which is awesome. And there we go. So we got your QP Design uh, sticker there. And of course, it's going to bugger up on me. This is what I was talking about, it uh, buffering. Right, so we've got the authentication card there. We've got a bag full of O-rings. You've got a uh, flathead screwdriver. You've got an Allen key because you can have both types of screw. And we've got a, a gold-plated squonk pin, which you can just about see there, as well as your normal O-rings. There's your flathead screws. It comes pre-installed with... Uh, uh, Allen key ones which I l- prefer right so it's all presented nicely in the box like that so first of all we'll have a look at the stainless um, section and um, so it's, it comes in three parts this one so you've got your Cali engraved on the side there QP design on that side and we'll just put it on this Atty stand um, we will do some measurements got my old calipers out Right, so this one's coming in at 25 millimetres, the diameter is. We'll just do the length of it with the drip tip. And that is coming in at 33.84. Without the drip tip, we have 
26.68. So sort of goon sort of size uh, RDA, this one. It has been out a couple of years, by the way, guys. Right, so inside here, the bore is 11.7 mil. So that's for your 810 fitting drip tips, of course. So that just plugs in like there. We have got the O-ring on the inside. Just have a uh, measure on the outside. We've got 18.1 mil on the inside of the drip tip. Uh, we're coming out at 9.46 uh, millimeters. So you can put whatever one you want on it. I think this one looks quite snazzy. The bottom of it's just come off there. It comes in two parts like the Hell Vape jobby. So you just put that on like that. It's called the 810 Signature Tip. But I couldn't find anywhere where it said who whose name that was. I presume it's the bloke who designed it. Uh, but there's your confirmation of your O-ring uh, in the top cap there. So get that on. That had never done it to me until I, I did this sort of recorded it, by the way. Right on the bottom, we've got the Cali V2 RDA, QP design and serial number. 19,094, this bad boy. And there's your gold plate. It's, I think it's stainless steel positive pin. Or it might be copper gold plated with the peak insulator. And we've got a nice bit of protrusion going on. Right, so you notice we've got uh, a bit of a uh, roughness around there to help you grip and we've got uh, dual airflow from each side so a lovely deep engraving for the QP design no rough edges on it so fully adjustable it does take a little bit of turning though so you can adjust it on one and it'll be the same on the other side uh, no single core uh, option where it just comes from one side but you can put it in single core but the airflow is still going to come from both sides Right, but just take that top cap off. Anyone who's just joined in, thanks very much. I'll get on to the chat in a minute. Right, we've got an O-ring that goes around the top and there's confirmation of the domen you get with this one, which uh, is renowned for uh, giving better flavour. Right, comes with a uh, sleeve as well. So that comes off like that. And you can just plug that one on and put that to one side. Right, here's the deck section then. So you'll notice there we've got the diagonal uh, peak insulators, which is uh, quite interesting. So we, we go from, if you just see where the peak is going, basically that's your positive post. So it goes all the way around uh, this uh, area here. So, excuse me using a pod to do this, what am I like? But basically you can have a single core, put, mount it in the middle, or have dual cores, one to one side, one the other, and bring them both in. Just like that. Cali V2 is written inside there and you can put your squonk pin in if you want to. Now I did measure this uh, uh, with the uh, calipers but uh, I forgot to write it down so I can't uh, remember how big the juice well is. But when you put the top cap on you are getting that, that much extra room. Right here's the black cap then. So you only get to the 1810 drip tip but we can just put that one on there because I think it looks pretty funky uh, on the black so that's what we're looking like this is made out of stainless steel as well and we plug it on there's a couple of o-rings which help it uh, stay on there but I think the black looks awesome uh, because it's still in the same color the logos are just painted over the top or powder coated or whatever they may be Right, so we'll just take this one apart and then we'll get the other uh, tanks out of the uh, package because this one's awesome. You get a black tank and top. You get your stainless steel tank and top. You also get your clear uh, uh, plastic one and uh, chuff cap. You get uh, an autumn one with a chuffed cap and you also get another black chuff cap. So you get lots of uh, stuff in the box. So here's the clear one, as you can see. If you're going to be using the plastic ones, I wouldn't advise using uh, aniseed or uh, citrusy acidic vapes. But we'll just plug that on there just so you can see what it's like. So if you've got like a clear model or something, you can matchy match it up with this. You only get one deck though. It would have been nice if you got two, but uh, yeah, it's asking for a little bit too much. But uh, that's what it looks like on the clutch. So we'll just pull that one up off there. We're just going to take the uh, normal cap off the black tank and we'll get the chuff cap out there you go fully adjustable as well the chuff cap so we've got adjustable airflow with the chuff cap on all 
three of those chuff caps. And there we've got a nice murdered out with the uh, all-in-one basically drip tips a, a little bit wider on here. I think I do measure it in a second for you. Right, so while I'm pissing about putting them back on, is the Ultima. I think this combo looks really good with the black mod and the Ultima. I know Ultim is my favourite colour, but I just think it looks pretty sick on that uh, clutch. So, yeah, do like that combo. I've been using it a lot. Right, so get the calipers out again, and we will... What are you doing, Mike? We're just going to measure the length, because I think it's a little bit shorter. Right, 31 mil the length is. Obviously, you can only use those chuff caps. You can't put a normal 810... Uh, cap on it and we'll just uh, measure the inside of there just for confirmation 9.77 a little bit wider there but the there you got 20 mil uh, around the outside of that chuff cap so it is a couple of mil wider than the normal 810 uh, chuff cap but all of this comes in with a kit I believe I paid about 42 euros from um What's it called? Uh, Le Petit Vapoteur in France. And I got a 20% off code at a particular time. So that's a um, good look around the unboxing and a good look around of all the bits and pieces that you get in with the uh, RDA and the RSA. Right, everyone who's just watching us, uh, big love to you all. Right, so that was a look around it. So we're just going to have a quick drink and a quick vape and then we'll get down onto the build section. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. So we just juice her up. Quick teaser on it. Right, hope everyone's doing all right. And then, like I say, until we get to... Um, the bill done i'll come back on to chat but thank you everybody who is in here joining me tonight we've got 53 in here so big love to you all we will get the build section done and then we'll tell you what's coming up on the channel have a chat about uh, tvp and we're also going to be talking about some um, other stuff uh, as well uh, and we'll have a few questions and answers Right, so let's get on to the uh, build then. Let's just hope it works. So bear with me, guys, while I ignore you all again. Right, so before we get on the, the build, uh, just going to say that uh, I've just opened the three holes there. Sorry, it's buffer in there. But there's the confirmation of the uh, hex style screws. We are going to measure the uh, internals of each of those holes using my calipers. So we got 2.81 millimeters and they are square. So just to confirm there, we've got 2.82 millimeters. So quite wide um, holes, basically three mil holes on here. Really nice beefy uh, screws. Nature of eight four core parallels are being put in today. Check out natureofape.co.uk if you want to score yourself some. Come in packs of eight, I do believe. 0.3 uh, three, three millimeters should come out to about 0 0.09 for the pair. I wouldn't advocate doing that yourself though, but um, that's what it could come out to. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to put it at uh, 6.5 mil, but you can use seven, you can use six, you can use whatever you like, but I like using 6.5. Right, so I'll just show you undoing the last screw. So lovely threads on here, very nice deck on here all feels nice quality on this qp design do tend to do good quality stuff right and we are going to try and measure the, uh, the in between here but i think it's somewhere around uh, i couldn't get it to work about 11 millimeters basically or is it 9.73 so that is a little bit of a con we'll go back up top and talk about that if those who like your super massive series builds uh you're not going to be able to do it that way round anyway. There is a way you could do it, but the cotton will be in the wrong place. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. 
Right, so that's the juice well, it's 6.28 without the cap on. That's where I measured it. What's up, everyone who's in chat? AVC, I can see you're in there. Big love to you, buddy. So we're getting this quad core fuse collapsing in, purchased from uh, Nature of Eight. Well, it wasn't purchased. He supplies the calls from the channel, but if you want to purchase them, check him out uh, because they are pretty decent quality uh, mass produced coils. Nice and easy post this deck, this one. The posts are raised, but they are what you class as post this deck. My bit on my Allen screwdriver chewed the other day, so I have to use the Core Master one, which is a little bit annoying. Personalised calls too. I haven't got personalised calls. I wish I did have. That'd be nice. Yeah, any newbies that are watching here, obviously the RDA has got a negative and a positive. And you can see uh, when I take my finger out of the way, the peak insulator that goes on the slant is separating the negative and the positive. So as long as you've got one lead uh, going from the negative to the positive, you're all right. So you can put it in single coil if you like and just move it over to the middle. You don't have to do two calls like I've done there, but we're doing dual core because I prefer dual calls in this type of atomizer. So just pull your calls over. You don't have to go too madly into the middle. I'll show you in a minute where I prefer them. I also give them a little bit of a tug to stretch out the call just to make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure your screws uh, are nice and tight too because you want the best connection that you can get. Right, there we go. Something like that should work. You can get your top cap and measure it up. I like to have the bottom underside of my um, coil being hit by the air. So somewhere around about there should be perfect. Evening, everyone who's uh, joining us. Uh, Thank you very much for tuning into the channel. So we're doing a little live review and build of the Cali V2 uh, RDA and RSA master kit. And we'll just uh, check the resistance in a minute after I've stopped fucking about and then we'll give it some pulsing. So here we go. We've got 0.13, it's coming out. At, when we've bedded them in, it should go up to around 0 0.1, 0 0.09. Of course, if you're... A build in, make sure you do it on a regulated device. I'm using the uh, Aegis Max by Geekvate, I and mean, I believe that goes down to at least 0 0.08. That particular mod might be a little bit lower. So, there you go. You want the cores glowing evenly from the inside out, you want to pulse them in just like I've done there. I'm spacing them because I prefer space cores, it also gets rid of hot spots doing that. And I think we're more or less there. What are we looking like? I'm such a perfectionist. I, you know, just do it, mate. That's good enough. All right, I think that looks pretty cool. Just another little wiggle, just for argument's sake. All right, it's gone down to 0 0.09 there. Confirmation of that. So that is perfect. Exactly what it says on the tin. 0.18 per cord or 0 0.09 for the parallel because you've got two cores. So there we have it. We're going evenly from the inside out. This is where you want to make sure you blow on the cores and let them cool down for a bit before you put your cotton in. Otherwise, you'll uh, burn your cotton. You get a horrible, foul taste. So give it a good blow. Leave it for a, a couple of minutes or a few seconds, if you mean, and just blow profusely on it. Good evening, Black Country Vapor. I will speak to you all after we've done this rebuild. Don't think I'm ignoring chat. I'm not, but we will do the interaction after I've uh, done my narration and after I've talked about the tank pros, cons, and all of that. 
So I am using a piece of string cotton. I think it was for a, a Evolution Vape, and I can't remember what brand it was. Uh, I really can't remember. It's not Vape Fly. It's, it's one like that. It's one that I hadn't had before. If it's a little bit tough getting through, it's really designed for three and a half mil, that uh, cotton, I think. So obviously that piece of cotton will do for both sides, so we are going to cut it off because I'm a tight wad and I don't believe in wasting cotton. There we go. We can thread it through to the other side as well. Then you want to get your scissors and basically you want to have the cotton so it's just sitting on the bottom of the deck. You don't need to go too mad with it, especially if you're doing it in squonk mode. I'm just using it as a dripper today because I prefer dripping uh, at the moment. I don't like squonking too much because it's uh, a little bit messy. Not so much with the top side, but uh, yeah, I just prefer dripping. I'm getting into a mech at the moment. The clutch is an awesome mech mod and I've also got my uh, dual parallel mech and we've also got the series device which uh, I'm not going to be using this on because we're only running at uh, too low a resistance. Shove your cotton in just like that. It's an RDA so you don't let be, need to go too mad. It's not like an RTA. With an RTA you, you really have to rely on that capillary action. So it's a lot more uh, mandatory that you do wicket uh, rake out the cotton a lot more and stuff like that this is an rda so get your cotton in there just make sure that your airflow can get underneath those coils still yeah adrian you've got to save your cotton mate don't you like i say i usually buy all my cotton little puff on the vapor so bar And no taking the piss for how long it's taken. This was done in one take last night and we're in the rating over it now. It is a lot easier though, just talking over the top rather than trying to talk and build. But you want it looking something like that. Make sure you've got a little bit of a well down the bottom. You can try and separate both the uh, cotton legs so it wicks up independently to each core. Come on, mate, that'll do. Stop fucking around. Get your juice out. Right, here we go. We've got the King Strawberry Jam Juice, which was kindly sent over by Vape Maven. Ibsert Vape Maven, thanks for that. We will be talking about that one in a minute when we go to vape on this bad boy. Juice it all up. And there you go, we got vapors, so looking mighty fine to me, this build is. Right, there we go, that's what we got, a bit of Gordon's pink gin and tonic with some blackberries and strawberries in it, frozen blackberries, strawberries and raspberries. Right, that is it. You can always put a bit of juice around the O-rings at the bottom, but... Uh, just show you there that's what we're looking like if you want to pause that and you can try and get it that height if you want to but that is it that is the cali v2 called and wicked up so we are now going to go back up top and speak to you mofos so how are you all doing right we'll just have a quick vape make sure we've juiced her up and we will we'll talk about the pros cons and uh, thoughts for this one I purchased this one like I said from Le Petit Vapoteur they had 20% off at the time I think I paid about 42 pounds or 42 euros something like that usually retails about 55 to 65 pound I believe but here we go that is it we've got the uh, clutch on the bottom we've got the Cali V2 with the normal top cap in black uh, I will get the chuff cap out in a minute, we'll have a go on that just to tell you about the uh, restriction with that. In fact, we'll use a um, the Ultim one for that. But um, 
Yeah, that is that. So anyone just joining us, thank you very much. So we are now going to talk about what I think of this little bad boy, but after I have a drag. Yeah, Dusty, the deck is tidy on this one. Really been enjoying this. Gay, Simon saying. I thought the V1 was overrated to hell, just the so-so RD8. I never had the V1, but this is the V2. Right, what do I think of it then? Right, this kit does come with a lot of stuff, as um, you saw down low. So you are getting all of those chuff caps, and you get stainless tank, and you get your black tank. So I think that is an absolute pro from QP Designs. I know that um, Hellvape have done something similar with all of their plastic caps for the, um, uh, what do you call it, Dead Rabbit. But this is uh, a far better quality because we got the two stainless caps. And uh, the build quality is very good. The You see there, we got lovely, thick, chunky piece of stainless steel for that sleeve. Uh, the O-ring tolerances are uh, very good. You can swing this one around. It's not going to just fly off in your hands. Right, airflow adjustment, you do have to hold on to the barrel because we've got no hard stops uh, for the uh, barrel or for the AFC. So you have to hold it and then hope you don't press the button like that and uh, spin it round. So that is a slight niggle because it does take a little bit of uh, resistance until you've got it juiced up. But that is how you do that. But the O-rings on the bottom, you've got those two O-rings there. Very nice indeed. The grub screws are absolutely brilliant. I haven't uh, gone anywhere near uh, chewing those ones. We've got a nice bit of dome in and it's all finished off very nicely indeed. So as per normal with QP design stuff, uh, it gets a thumbs up for build quality, fit and finish and appearance. So yeah, we got it on the clutch. I think that looks like a pretty killer combination. Those of you who haven't got, say, the clutch, but you've got other tube-style devices. I haven't got too many tubes, guys, but we have got it on the Geek Vape Karma here, which is a, a, a kit that I did review on the channel, and it's a pretty tidy mech mod, this. 25 millimeters, 25 millimeters for the mod. So I just think that looks uh, pretty awesome indeed. Right, we'll just put on one of the other chuff caps just to sh show you what that looks like. So we've got that on there as well. So as you can see, match made in heaven. What's the airflow on there? In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do, we'll do the airflow rating now. So we've got the airflow wide open on either side. And we've got, you can just see the core there. You can just see the underneath of the core. So we've got two three millimeter internal diameter cores. Obviously, airflow and restriction is depending on what size uh, cores you put in. But uh, that's the uh, benchmark we've got today. So here we go, fully open. Right, for me, that's far too airy. And as a result, you'll get in a um, less flavor. But uh, it's a good nine and a half out of 10. It's very airy, too airy for me. So let's close it down to halfway. Confirmation there. Here we go. Right, we've got no honeycomb on here. And um, so there is a, a little bit of turbulence there, but it is a very good hit and a good draw you get from it. So... I tend to rock it around just a little bit shut off, just like that. There you can just hear. Perfect restriction for me. And it's much smoother as well. So, yeah, we haven't got it on a regulated device, but um, if I just put it on the, whatever it's called, the Evdillo for a minute, just so that you regulated heads can get a gauge of it as well. Tell you what sort of wattage I'm putting through. So it's at 68, that might be a bit low. Yeah, it's far too low. 
110. Right, with those quad core fused claptons, you do need some wattage. I've got 110 with that. We'll just put it up to 130. And it's very nice. For me, this RDA is designed for higher wattage vaping, in my opinion. It depends what sort of cores you want to put in. You might want to put some round wire or some single clapton, something like that. But for me, I think it's good to fill up that deck with... Um, with metal and get some beefy complex cores in it and I just think the flavour just goes up there. So we will give you a flavour rating now. Now I know this juice, we are going to be reviewing this one separately in a minute but the flavour, I've used this on my Just Jammy, we've used it on the Summer Black Current and we've also used it on uh, Kerno Black. I haven't used it on any dessert vapes as such though. Right, bear in mind this one has been out for about two years. So I wasn't expecting it to be the best RDA ever. And it isn't, but it is a good 8, 8.5 out of 10, maybe pushing it a 9, because it is really good. High wattage vaping, you're going to get some really good flavour. The build quality is uh, very good with this one. You've got all those extra uh, chuff caps, etc. as well. So before I forget, we are going to put a one of the chuff caps on and like I said you can adjust the airflow but make sure you hold on to the barrel there you go we've got it halfway obviously you're going to get even more airflow with it like that so I've just restricted it uh, a little bit more as well but it does work very well indeed uh, so for an RDA, I think it's very good. Like I say, I don't think it's good as uh, the Rebirth or the Recurve. Or uh, there, There's a few other RDAs which I think have probably got better flavour. But I'm glad I bought it. It's a solid RDA. It's got very good flavour. The build quality is pretty damn good. And you're getting all these extra bits uh, thrown in there. So if you've got different coloured mods uh, and stuff like that, uh, you're laughing. Uh, if one of your caps breaks you can just uh, get out one of your other ones so just put it in stainless mode for a moment here we go you fancy a little bit of a stainless matchy matchy setup so there you go quickly is that we've now got it on the evdillo uh, a full stainless matchy matchy setup so how good is that i love it Yes, yeah, so that is basically it, guys. Uh, for me, it gets a thumbs up. Yes, it is 40 to £50. Pound. It might be a little bit more, depending on where you get it from. But I just think it ticks a lot of the boxes. If you want a nice RDA, 25mm RDA, that you can use in your mech mods if you're into your mechs. I think this one is a very good RDA. Uh, we've got very good paintwork. We've got no paintwork coming off. Uh, the chuff caps uh, have all lasted me. I have been putting some uh, aniseedy vapes through it and it hasn't actually cracked it. Uh, so, yeah, I just think it's a good little kit. And for the purposes of my timestamps when we go to edit it later on, uh, we'll call that the end of the review at 7.44 p.m., so a big love for everyone that, that, that's uh, tuned in. We are going to carry on though, so don't go away. We have got, uh, I want to talk about a few things tonight. We got some uh, items we coming up for review and we also want to talk about uh, some other bits and pieces. So just let me get my breath a minute and I'll, I'll try and go through chat and see if I've missed anything. Talking this the series there, Dave, we've got the series deck in this one, which we will be showing off uh, very shortly indeed. So, how is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well. Let's scroll up, see if I've uh, missed anything. 
Kevin Smith, for fuck's sake, get thumbs up, boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, if you are watching this, guys, it would be great if you could hit the thumbs up on the video. It uh, would mean the world to me and get uh, me up the search rankings and all of that. So let's just have a quick uh, through. I'm liking the Firebolt, uh, Vaporfire Firebolt. It's good, the Firebolt Cotton is. Johnny likes how clean the deck is. Very clean deck on this one, mate. Uh, right. Bring back the Mohawk, Michael Pointer. How you doing, bud? Yeah, I might uh, grow it back, get the Mohawk one day, mate. And we've got a few uh, people chatting amongst them. Self. A Pam Bright, it's a nice looking kit, this. It is a nice kit, and I'm glad that I purchased it anyway. And uh, no worries for the review. K3FFED, I just joined a little late maybe. No worries, mate. We are going to go on for another half an hour at least because I've got lots to talk about tonight. Um, I'm not going to go uh, much past 20 past 8, uh, but uh, we will do another half an hour or so. So, right, what do I want to talk about then? Right. It was announced last night by uh, my good buddy and fellow vape reviewer, TVP, otherwise known as uh, Mark Roberts or the other way around. He's announced that he's hanging up his uh, gloves, basically, his uh, mic and his cameras. Uh, he's had enough. Uh, he's He's been doing it since 2015 and he just feels like the time is right for him to leave the scene. He will still have his Facebook group up and no doubt from time to time you might see him on other people's channels, uh, other people's shows, stuff like that. But for me personally, I think it's a, a great loss. Uh, I went on his show last night, we had a bit of a phone in. It was quite a little bit emotional to be honest because Mark was one of the first reviewers that uh, I got into and uh, yeah, he was inspiration for me and my channel. When I first started out, well, I did a lot of clone reviews which you're not allowed to do on the channel anymore um but um you can pick up a lot of clones from 3f ape and for a hundred pound or so and then get yourself a lot of content for the channel and mark was my inspiration i thought he was very down to earth got some fucking wicked personality he's funny he doesn't give a fuck and uh, he's got all the boxes that uh, uh i like in the person he's not everyone's cup of tea he has a uh, had controversy and stuff like that me and him have fallen out in the past as well but we have made up because we're grown men and human beings and and for me personally i think it's a, a shame that mark has gone a big big sh shame but i still think he'll be around on other people's shows he'll probably appear on nature vape stuff like that so if you are watching mark uh, big love mate you uh like I said, have been an inspiration for my channel uh, and I wish you all the best uh, for you and Becca in the future, mate. And uh, yes, and uh, th that is that. So um, yeah, big love to Mark TVP. Sad to see you go, sir. Anyone in chat got any thoughts? Uh, Icarid Sim already did. Great TVP will be missed by Adrian Mason. Yeah, it does suck. But like I say, Mark's been doing it since 2015. I started my channel October 17. So I've only been going literally three years at the end of October. 27th of October is my um, three-year anniversary. So we will have a bit of a uh, show up for that one, a bit of a celebration, I expect. But uh, yeah, I think he's just um, had enough of everything. Uh, he's got a new full-time job uh, and just wants to crack on with that. And uh, he's found uh, a lovely woman that he's happy with. So fair for that. Cheers, Simon62, mate. Cheers uh, to you, Mr. Mark Roberts. He doesn't normally pop in my shows anymore, but if you do catch the replay, Mark... Um, Big love, buddy. Right, so that is that. So, right, we got some things in. Right, Hooked on Funk, who is in chat, uh, he is otherwise known as uh, Mr. Aegis Skins. Customagis.eu is his where, um, website. And he's also on Instagram. I think it's called Aegis, uh, Custom Aegis. 
but do check him out. He's kindly sent me over a um, couple of skins in the post for your Aegis mods. I haven't got any out here, which is typical. But basically, he's got me an MF8 one and a another patterned one. He's got some awesome designs, loads of different colours. So if you do want to check it out, check out Aegis.skins uh, uh, website. Um, I don't know if anyone in chat... Chris Doyle, if you're still watching, maybe you could get the link for, for me, mate, or I could try and find it. No worries, Hooked on Funk. I'm all for shouting out fellow human beings, mate. Especially if they treat me well. See if I can find it. Oh, I can't get on that site. That's bloody typical. Anyway, just check out, put in the search on Instagram, Aegis Skins, and you will find him. Uh, I tried to go on the website, but it wouldn't uh, load up. No, it's not called Zap Rats, mate. It's Aegis.Skins. Uh, he's a, a new uh, business, I believe. He hasn't been going that long, so do check out. Um, let's try it again, because obviously I've got no mods in here. There we go. Right, I'll do it then, as no one can be asked to do it. I'll have to do it hooked because no, no one else is allowed to put links in apart from me. <laughs> so there you go. That is a, a shouting out hooked on funk. He's kindly sent me over a couple of skins and we will be showing them off on one of these live shows uh, in the next few weeks. He's based in Holland, so it's taken a little while to get to over here. Um, it's, it's called customages.eu, Chris. It's all right, I've just put the Instagram feed and then if you click on that Instagram, you can find the link uh, from there. Just go on his profile. Right, that is Custom Aegis. That's one of the things that we've got coming up. We've also got, um, if anyone out there has heard of Lord Cog Coggington's Lord C Vapes, uh, he's been in touch with me recently. He's just built some uh, squonk mods and uh, dual battery, dual parallel uh, mech mods and dual uh, series mech mods. He's doing 18650 ones of mine. But he's kindly said he's going to send me, send me over a couple of um, prototypes. Um to test out and when he's got the final version it will be sending me out for review so really looking forward to that because i do like a nice uh, uh I i'm getting into my mechs now i've got me overkill mod ones here we've got the tree of life box mods one out there as well so really looking forward to that if you want to find lord cognitons he's got his own juice brand and he's quite often got uh sales on 30 percent off 50 percent off stuff like that so Check him out on Twitter if you want to um, check out Lord C. Vates. But he's starting to do his hardware now. So I'm really uh, looking forward to testing that lot out. Right, next thing I want to say is uh, the annual Vapor Round Awards are uh, open, basically. The Reader Awards are open. Now, I don't normally get anywhere in awards because I'm not very popular, but it would be good if this year uh, a few people nominated me uh, just for a laugh. Just, you know, I th think I deserve to get in the top 10, don't you? So it'd be awesome if you could uh, give us a cheeky little vote for the Reviewer of the Year Awards. And uh, let's see if I can find it. Like I say, I appreciate every single one of you guys that tune in and watch my uh, channel. So if you could give us a cheeky little vote for the Best Reviewer of the Year Awards, I would be uh, very much appreciative of it. Right, Readers Awards, where are you? Right, here we go. So I'll just get the link and we're going to put that one in chat as well because it's my show and I'll fucking do it. It's all right, Chris, I've got it, mate. Yeah, so if you could all do that, uh, I would absolutely be over the moon if you could. It would be nice to get a nomination anyway. 
because uh, like I say, I put a lot of work into the channel. It would be nice to get a bit of um, uh, recommendations, stuff like that, because uh, I'm obviously getting, uh, I get some nice feedback off this show. We're getting a good crowd in each week, and I do appreciate every one of you. So big love if you could uh, check that one out for me. Right, we're going to put it on the download camera now. Cheers, Ikarab. Becca Lumps, ha ha. Got my vote, 100. Louis Fishing, or is it Lewis? I never know if it's Louis or Lewis uh, Fishing. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Big love to you, sir. Simon62, big love to you. And as I ever, when I see reviewers in the channel, I do shout them out. So we've got Simon62, a brand new reviewer. Go check him out, guys. We've got AVC reviews as well. He does awesome mouth to lung and juice reviews. He's a qualified chef uh, by trade. So do check out AVC as well. Right, another thing we've got, uh, uh, Tesla Six. Now, I have reviewed the Tesla Y and the Tesla Y2. 200 um, on my channel the tesla uh, the, the first one the 200 watt one it was one of my very first reviews now recently they've uh, got in contact with me and they said um, bless them it was in chinese so it was like chinese english uh, but they the long and the short of it they wanted to send me something over now of course i don't particularly like pod kits so i said if it's a pod i'm not interested because i i've got some pods that i've uh, that I want and I go out and buy them, such as the Vapor SO bar, which I'll be talking about in a minute. But uh, I said, um, if it's an external battery mod or an RDA or an RTA, then please feel free to send it over. But anyway, they've uh, confirmed that it is a 95 watt single 21700 uh, device. I presume it's a, uh, a regulated device. So uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll have the Tesla, I think she said it was called the T-Rex or something like that. So I haven't found any details uh, online or anything, but uh, they have said they're going to send it over. So that is going to be coming up in the next few weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for that one, guys. Right, also, what else have we got coming up? We've obviously, I want to give Mark at Nature Vape a big shout out. Uh, I should have his logo up on here, but I haven't. Let's just put it on the screen. This dude here, uh, we talk quite often. Uh, I'll just put it under there. Mark Burns, his name is. He, he's one of the good guys in vaping. Uh, him and TVP, uh, AVC. Uh, Simon62, there's a few uh, reviewers out there that I really do uh, trust and I get on with. And Mark uh, Burns, uh, along with TVP, are uh, two that I really do. Anyway, he's got his own website there. You can get the calls that I use and the uh, builds you can purchase from there. But he's also got a brand new RDA coming out, guys. It's a single call uh, RDA, but this ain't just any single call. This is a single mesh call in a vertical configuration. Now, I'm not going to give too much away, but uh, it does look pretty pucker. Now, I haven't got any uh, pictures to show you, but um, by all means, check out Mark's uh, live show on a Tuesday, I believe it is, or is it a Wednesday? I can never remember. And he gives you the details there. But as far as I'm aware, I spoke to him last night. He said they should be with us. Uh, I think they're sending them out on Sunday. So hopefully by the end of next week, I should have it in. So yeah, the Nest RDA, uh, single mesh vertical build, will be out very soon. And I'm absolutely looking forward to that bad boy. So if you're watching, Mark, or you're on the replay, a big love to you, sir. Right, let's have a look on chat a minute. QP designed some amazing stuff. Nice one. Uh, I vote for Mark, then he went and retired. <laughs> Do another vote with another email address for me, mate. Um, just voted easy peasy. Thank you, Ixarab. Much appreciated. Ian Kiss, somebody say something about nominations. Consider it done. Nice of you to give TVP a nice shout out, mate. Of course, Ian. I, I know what side my bread's buttered. I know me and Mark have fallen out before in the past, but we go back a long way. I've met him. We've had piss-ups together. We've had meals together. We've met each other's uh, other half. So 
TVP is uh, one of the guys, uh, in my opinion. He's one of the lads. Uh, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks of him. I like him and he's a good bloke. So that is that. But big love to you and uh, Fiona, Ian. Mike, why do you keep sniffing your fingers? Uh, it's probably just a nervous twitch. I got fucking vaping VG. You get snot coming out your nose all the time. And I've got the windows open. But uh, yeah, it's because I'm live on YouTube, mate. We've got like, how many people have we got in the house today? We've got 47 in it. It's a, a little bit nerve wracking, to be honest, mate. Yeah, Nature Vape is Tuesdays at 8.30. Right, Rob Game, definitely waiting for that one. Yeah, it's going to be awesome in Nest RDA. Right, another thing we've got from Sourcemore, another one of the companies that I work with. They send me over items for free. Uh, big love to you, Sourcemore. We are getting the Kylin Mini version 2. Uh, I never had the uh, Mini version 1, but I did have the Kylin V2, which <laughs> was uh, I had some problems with that, so we won't talk about that. But looking forward to the Kylin Mini version 2. Single call, uh, I think it's restricted direct to London. We've got Honeycomb Airflow. It looks like it's coming from the top, maybe working its way down. Looks pretty decent, that. So I'm looking forward to that big style. So that'll be coming up very soon. Right, we've also got the Bulk RT RTA. Now, the Bulk RTA has been out for a good couple of years, but I've only just got it, and that's the... Um, that's why I've um, ordered it. I got it from Health Cabin, who are another site like Sourcemore, uh, basically. So they're going to send me one over free of charge for review. Because like I say, I said I'm only purchasing my own stuff. But if I get stuff that I want and they're going to send it to me for free, I'm going to fucking take it. Uh, because uh, Sourcemore and Health Cabin, Nature Vape, people like that, they treat me right. Tesla, I said to them, don't pester me and I'll get it up when I can do. And if you know the score, by all means, send me stuff. But don't expect it to be up next week because I do one review a week. Uh, say I've got like four or five items in, you're not going to get it done for at least six weeks. So that's the way we're rumbling at the moment. And I'll also buy stuff that I um, uh, want. So let's just go down low. And can you see that? Right, we've got the Vaporesso pod kit here. Right, I did mention a few weeks ago we were going to be doing like a, um, uh, a this basic review here, which is this little pod device and um, uh, trying it out with different tobacco nick salts. Now, I've bought a load of different nick salts in here. We've got all these bad boys here, different uh, varieties. Uh, this one here, Red for Ages, but I don't particularly like it. But um, some of the others... It tastes a bit like caramelly to me, which I'm not an avid fan of, but they are good. They're not like vaping on ashtrays. Classic Virginia there we got by Halo. Uh, these salts here, I think I got that one from E-Sig 1. This one from uh, Electric Tobacconist, I think. Uh, that one was from E-Cigarette Direct. Uh, this one's from Electric Tobacconist as well. So we've got lots of different salts. Some of them are actual flavours. We've got like a raspberry and... Uh, is that just called raspberry? Black currant and raspberry. We've got acai fruit here by uh, Riot Squad. Now, I've tried uh, most of these, and they are pretty good, especially in this little pod device. So do keep your eyes peeled on the channel. It might not be for a few weeks because I've got other stuff in that I would rather review. Uh, and I've got commitments. So if people like Source War and Health Cabin send me stuff, I really do need to get it in, whereas the pod I purchased myself. Peter Kendall, you absolute legend. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for the vote. Right, here's the bulk RTA. Then we've got it in bubble tank mode at the moment. Uh, 28 millimetres, we got it on the evil dildo. So we've got airflow coming from the sides with this one. Nice bit of knurling on the top cap. Uh, I'm not going to take it apart, but we have got that coming uh, up for review. I have actually recorded that one already, so we could get that one up very soon. It depends. If Mark gives me his Nest RDA, I will be putting that one up as soon as possible because it's an RDA and I like Mark and I want him to do well. So I'll probably get that one up as soon as it comes in, maybe after three or four days, maybe a week. So we've got that. We've also got, just getting this out of the way, the Vapors Cloud 
uh, deck here, uh, the Asgard 30. This is the series deck. So you'll just notice there we've got uh, uh, positive, negative, but we've also got the, uh, where is it? This block at the side here is like a neutral block. So it puts it in a series configuration. So it doubles the resistance as opposed to halving it. So the result being this build there, I put, uh, <clears throat> I think it's two, 0.2 ohm cores. They're coming in at 0.4 ohm now, as opposed to 0.1 if you put them in um, a uh, fucking parallel configuration. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. I think I'm saying that right. So we got the Vapors Cloud um, uh, fucking L mic. Spit it out. Asgard 30 uh, series deck. Right, what else have we got? Let's go back up top because I don't think we've got any more down there. Right, the other thing that we have got is Batman. Fogging out with a Batman FOTBW. He's not in here, but if you are in here, hello, sir. I hope you're doing very well. We've got the old, uh, what is it? Sabores del Encanto. Uh, line of juices that I should be re uh, receiving and I will do a live juice review on the channel like I say I'm not sure when depends when they come but we are going to do a bit of a, a juicy review on the uh, meltdown in lockdown so really looking forward to that big love to uh, Santos for organizing them to be sent over but hopefully they should be over in the next week or so from what I've been led to believe Looked at that one yesterday. Bought Valerian all in one. It's a good mouth to lung. What the uh, Vaporesso bar? This is a really good one. What's a good detail to go on the Aspire Mix? Was thinking of getting an Orta GT, but not keen on mouth to lung. Uh, the Aston Aston Vape, mate. This bad boy here. We've got it on the Stratum at the moment. Anyone who's just joining us, this is a clone, so I've never reviewed it, but I've had it over a year. It's brilliant. And it fits up to a 24 mil. We've, this is like a restrictive director lung, the Aston Vape, but you can do it in mouth to lung because we've got... We just reviewed it on the channel last week if you want to check it out. But you can have... You can either have one hole open or you can have one hole open on either side, just like that. And I prefer it than both open, uh, single core. This is my single core tank of the year so far for me. Uh, I did like the uh, QP Design one, the Gator. And uh, um, I've got good hopes for the Kylie Mini as well. But this one for me, hands down, best flavour. AVC in chat will vouch for that. Cracking RTA, this one. If you get the right juice in it and the right build and you know how to whip properly, you'll get really good flavour. Yeah, Dion, meltdown in lockdown is now my um, mantra because I'm still in lockdown. I work in this exact desk every day of the week. I'm still in lockdown and we've got... Um, yeah, that's what the live show's called from now on uh, for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, fuck it. I thought we'd... Uh, Stick with the meltdown mantra. It uh, sums me up a treat. Lucky the, the microphone's playing up this week, so it's not too bad. I watched the review. If I did like it as a stainless as well, along with the, the mix. Yeah, it is nice. If you go to the Petty Vapita, sometimes they have deals on. I paid £40 for it. So it is a little bit pricey, but it's well worth the money. Yeah, AVC's just confirmed the Aston on the mix made for each other and had a parcel today with the Aston RDTA. All right, have they got an RDTA out as well, Kieran? I didn't notice that on their website. But I think it looks pretty good on the Stratum, though. Don't you think so? It's an awesome combo. This is a single 21700 MOSFET mod. So it's got a little board in it, this one. Let me show you. Uh, as we're at live, bollocks to it. So you get little top caps that you can buy. You can purchase this from Nature Vape, by the way, this Stratum. Uh, uh, Stratum style Atti. It's not the authentic because they cost hundreds of pounds. But you just see there, 
we've got a little board on here which means you can do three clicks and you can turn it off and on so we've got a little bit of protection on there as well it works best for mal to lung and uh, single call restrictive direct to lung in my opinion it doesn't work so well if you've got a couple of dual call um, monsters like um, what we've got in here uh, we've got a bit of uh, battery sag or whatever the, the chip's better designed for um uh mouth to lung or restrictive direct to lung but it works a treat just turned it off it's not working now forgot this <laughs> fucking typical isn't it if you ever find this mod stops working what you have to do is unscrew the battery and let it come out a little bit and then put it back up Make sure the atties screw down first. But yeah, the flavour out of the Aston is absolutely superb. What's up, Jose Lopez or Jose Lopez? Fucking can't remember now. I think it's Jose because you're Spanish, isn't you, bro? Right, so that is basically it, guys. We've talked about what's coming up for review. There's probably some other bits, but what we're going to do now is uh, give my thoughts, which I've nearly forgotten about, on the King Juice, uh, which is strawberry jam flavour by Vape Maven. Now, he's, got, he's recently started up the company. You can find them on Instagram. Um, not sure if Chris might be able to find the link for Vape Maven. V-A-P-E-M-A-V-E-N, I believe it is. But um, we're going to juice it up and I'll give you a little juice review. So obviously we're going to be putting it on the uh, Cali V2 because that's what we've built. But we do get a little pull out here. There's a number of different flavours you get. They don't uh, supply Nick shots, so on the site... Um, you basically just select the flavour and you get 100 mils worth of juice, I believe. But if you're quick, at the moment, every bottle on there is £3.99 from uh, Vape Maven. So do check it out. I'll try and find out uh, the, the website address for you. They're normally retailing at £15.99. But we'll, I'll tell you what I think of the juice first. That would probably help. Right, there we go. I'm doing everyone favours here, ain't I? So this is what you call, if people treat me well, I'll treat you well back. Um, his name is Ibs, Ibrahim or Ibrahim uh, from Vape Maven. Uh, we've had a, a number of email exchanges. I think he's a nice bloke. Uh, I said to him, he wanted to give me over a few bottles to do a juice review, and I said I don't really do them. But send me over a bottle if you want, and I'll say whether I like it or not. But at the moment, you can get them for three ninety nine for a big 100ml bottle. You've got to get your own nick shots from elsewhere, or just use your 72 milligram stuff like I do in your freeze, and just put a little bit more VG in. It works. But we're just going to juice it up now, and then we'll tell you what I think of it. But three ninety nine for... You know, short fill is pretty damn good money. Right, there we go. Right, we got it on the clutch. It's a good one, guys. It is a good one. And I've got Just Jammy here as well. And we've got that in the uh, vapor, uh, Vapors Cloud um, fuck stain, <laughs> Whatever it's called. The Asgard 30. And it's a totally different vape. But I said to him, I don't like too sweet a juice. But this one, it's like proper like ripe strawberries. And there's a little bit of sweetness. 
but there's a little bit of tartness to it as well. So it's actually quite, it's a Moorish vape. Let me give you another one. It's literally like vaping on a bucket full of st strawberries. I don't think there's any menthol in there, but there is a definite bit of sharpness on the um, inhale. Um, but yeah, so it's not like you're just jammy or just jam, but it is a very nice flavour. So if you don't like your vapes ultra sweet, I think you'll like this one. Uh, I think it's really good. It reminds me of Dark Star Dark Fruits strawberry jam, uh, which you, you can mix your own up because I used to do a lot of that in the past. But yeah, this one is called uh, the King Juice strawberry jam. And uh, so, like I said, I'm not going to bullshit you. I think it's very nice, but it's not the sweetest vape in the world. But for me, I think it's pucker. It's a good nine out of ten for flavour. Like I say, I haven't tried all the other varieties, but what we got? We got donuts, spearmint, mango, strawberry jam, banana shake, pink lemonade, tobacco and menthol, energy drink. I'm sure there's a few others on the website as well. But £3.99 on the website, even if you fucking buy it, you've wasted four quid if you don't like it. But I can concur that the strawberry jam is very nice. It doesn't necessarily taste like strawberry jam as such to me because, like I say, it tastes more like fresh strawberries with a hint of sweetness. But um, it's a nice vape, though, and it's totally different from what I'm getting with the um, Just Jam or the Just Jammy, which is the e-liquid flavour concentrates one. So just to give you a toke on this, this is with the Asgard uh, 30 with this series deck. I think it came in about 0.35. I do love my Just Jam though. It's totally different. It's a little bit sweeter and tastes more like jam in my opinion. Uh, but um, it is good though. If you want to freshen up your taste buds, get some of that uh, King juice in there and it is a different vape. It's it's nice to have something a little bit more uh, original, uh, rather, you know, vamp it up a little bit rather than sticking with the same juices. Good D's are always forwarded. Nice one, Hooked on Funk. Uh, incidentally, um, Aegis Skins, Hooked on Funk. He is on the Late Night Vape Show at half past 10 on Sunday, if you want to check him out. And Simon62, who's also in chat, who's an absolute legend, one of my biggest fans. Um, he is on the Mr. Benny Vape Show at 9 o'clock uh, Sunday night as well. So we've got two reviewers in here, or well, one's a company, one's a reviewer, uh, on different shows. So check out... Um, Benny Vapes show. What's it called? Northern Union Vape Show. I was on there a couple of weeks ago. If you want to watch the rerun, check out Benny Vapes' channel. Had some good fun on there. We got Big D. We got Blazing Vapes, uh, JP Vape Reviews. Uh, normally, ATC Reviews is on there as well. But, uh, yeah, they're all over there. And uh, those two are on those two shows tomorrow night. Yeah, they have blackjack. So I nearly ordered that, Chris. But last time I had blackjack uh, flavoured elic, and I think I broke the Pandora with it. So I'm sort of staying away from it at the moment. Yeah, it's not bad for you. Like I say, £3.99, it's worth a punt. That's why I said to him, just send me one bottle. It's no point in sending me the range in case I didn't like them, but... It's not bad, but it is, it's not like Just Jam, put it that way. It's more like a, a fresh strawberries. Yeah, NUVS, Simon's just said. Right, guys, we are going to give it two more minutes and then we're going to call it a night tonight. Uh, it's quite hard doing this on your own. I've done a full review here. We've gone on about what's coming up. We've shouted out TVP, of course, and... Um, yeah, we've just done a juice review. So I've had enough now. I feel like a, a little bit wired from all of the talk and, and everything else. Everyone who's in chat tonight, you've been absolutely awesome as per normal. Let's just have a look. We've got 36 in here, so we will call it quits because uh, people will be going on to other shows that are probably coming up later on. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to 
call it quit, quits, guys. So we've got... Um, not sure what's going to be on next and what time it's going to be because next week I've got Tesco bloody delivery uh, coming at 8 o'clock. So I might have to do it in the afternoon again, which is a shame. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it could well be the bowl Cartier. It depends if the Ness comes in and uh, yeah, it depends whether the saw small ones come in as well. But we have got the bulk already reviewed. Uh, I've just got an array over the top. So yeah, we'll probably have that one up next week for you. So I'd just like to say once again, everyone who's been watching, everyone who's been interacting in chat, I do love you a lot and I look forward to seeing you next week. A, a reminder that uh, if you fancy it, you think I'm a decent reviewer, check out the Vapor Round Awards and uh, yeah, drop us a little vote on the Readers Award for Best Reviewer of the Year. I would be fucking most appreciated. So big love to you all. Just search for Vapor Round or Chris can put the link in uh, chat for you if you want. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've just found it again. I'll put it in. A nice bit of self-promotion for me, but fuck it. I spend a lot of time and energy, effort and money on the channel. So it'd be nice to get a, a something back. So until next time, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much again. Um, I'll see you again very soon. Big love to you all. See you later, guys.